it is about 5.45 Wednesday morning. Um, about to start work. I hope everybody has a good day. But let's get to it. Now look at me in this opportunity. Now look at me in this opportunity. Yo, yo, so <clears throat> I'm still working, but I got some news for you guys. I got to tell y'all later, but uh, I'm going to tell you now. I'm going to go back to my usual spot before I go, um, so I can tell y'all comfortably. But yeah, uh, good, bad. It, I mean, it's bad news to me, but it is what it is. But um. Yeah, I'm still in the middle of my meal hour. I only got like five minutes left. And then after that, I'll, t I'll give y'all some information. Um, but yeah, see y'all in a minute. Yo, so okay, quick update. Um, again, this is all, how do I say this? Nothing set in stone, none of this is concrete. But today they just sent out a, uh, an email pretty much saying that soon this sh people on this ship might be pulled to go to other ships because the ship itself is supposed to be ROS ready reserve I don't know what ROS stands for but it's supposed to be a lot of the people on here might be pulled in the near future or are up to being able to be pulled to go relieve other people on different ships so that is the situation right now again it's not set in stone yet nothing is set in stone but that might be the case am I sad about it kind of but is it unexpected? Not really. You know what I'm saying? And I'm going to talk more about it in a second. But yeah, that's the situation. Uh, I mean, it is what it is. Like, again, I would much rather be able to stay on the ship, staying right here, uh, not having to go anywhere. But this, this is the Courier I chose. We all knew it was a possibility at some point with when they first brought this up um, in September. So, yeah. So that is the situation. Not mad. I'm a little disappointed, but it is what it is. Again, none of it is set in stone. So I'm not like, oh my God, this is the worst thing that ever happened to me. No, it's just kind of like disappointing because I did want to be able to like, I don't want to say relax, but kind of like be able to work and still be able to go home. You know what I'm saying? It's almost kind of like having a regular nine to five. And that's always like, for me, it's like a decompressing kind of like I don't know how else to explain it it's just it's it's easier to stay on a ship for a long period of time if it's the, if the ship is like 20 minutes from your home you know what I'm saying because it, oh, it almost feels like I'm just working a regular job but uh yeah but that's the situation again none of this is sent stone but yeah it is now 1245 it is Wednesday I guess I'm leaving early today again. Uh, my partner, she wants to have Friday, which I normally have Fridays, but she wants to have Friday. So she was like, you can leave again today. And then, yeah, so that's the situation. I left yesterday. So she's trying to give me my two days. So I left yesterday. I guess I'm gonna leave today. We have overtime tomorrow and then Friday she'll leave. But um, yeah, y'all know me, I don't really, during the week, I don't want too many days so where I can get off early because my girl, she's working till late, so it doesn't really do anything for me. You know what I'm saying? Like on Saturday, she'll she'll be off, so it'd be like, okay, I leave early Friday, Saturday she's off, and then I'll go home. Then either way, it's kind of like I go into work, I come home, 
I go hang out with them. I don't want to have to, not have, I don't drive home every day, you know what I'm saying? But that's just because I don't, gas is expensive and I don't, to the amount of time I'm home, because I always come back that same day. Like if I go home tonight, I'm coming back tonight, you know what I'm saying? Because <laughs> for me, I don't want to wake up extra early just to, to drive, just to get here. You know what I'm saying? That's just me. Everybody else will be like, oh, if I'm on a ship at home, I'm going home every day. Which, okay, that's your right. I just personally, I hate driving. And I hate having to wake up even more. So, it's easier for me to just, I go do what I do at night. Uh, spend time with my family, spend time with my girl, friends, whoever it is. Then I'll take my ass back to the ship. Like, that same night. I don't care if it's like 2 in the morning when that day ends. Or if my day ends at like 9 o'clock at night. I'm taking my ass back to the ship. And then I'm going to go to sleep up here so I can be up in the morning and not have to drive. You know what I'm saying? Because it's kind of different when you, yeah, I still be late when I'm on the ship. But it's a little different, like, when you have to drive to go to work. You know what I'm saying? Like, I can drag my feet if I'm on the ship. But I can't drag my feet if I'm home and then coming back. Because it'd be like, for me, from where we're coming from, or where I'm coming from, if I drag my feet a little bit, I'm hitting traffic. If I hit traffic... Then I'm not just going to be like 10, 5, 10, 15 minutes late. I'm going to be 20, 30 minutes late. And that's a big no-no. So that's why it's just easier for me to be like, already be up here. I can relax when I wake up. Do what I got to do. Don't forget to hit that like button. And if you're not subscribed yet, what are you doing? Hit that subscribe. Just stay tuned. You know what I'm saying? So I told y'all things are coming. Uh, things are coming. But uh, deuces. It is the end of the day. I mean, it's 5:20, but day's pretty much done. I just gotta put the salad bar up and then wash the rest of the dishes. I'm calling it a day. I'm gonna go for a quick run. I should do a long run, but I don't wanna. So I'm gonna go for a quick run. Come back to the ship and chill. That's about it. It is six o'clock on Friday morning. Um, yeah, last day, of, well, not really the last day of the week, but it's last day of the week for the weekend. Probably leaving early today, go home, set some stuff up, maybe edit this video, I don't know. But just wanna say, I love y'all. What's up everybody? Um, Today is Thursday, or today's Friday, my early day, well, yeah, my early day, so uh, I'm gonna chill. As you can see, my usual spot. Everything's cool. Um, I'm sitting there watching the video, that's why I got my headphones on. Shout out to Alia, I put it right there. But yeah, everything's cool. I wanted to talk to you guys about my, well, you can't see it, but I just got my timesheet, pretty much where it shows all my overtime and stuff like that. I wanted to. Sh I'm not really gonna show y'all too much, but I just wanna talk to y'all about it. But uh, let me finish out my dishwashing day and then uh, we'll get into it. I'll see y'all in a minute. I'll take the trash out. Uh, feels good out here. Actually, I don't know if it feels, yeah, it's a little chilly, but it's not nothing crazy. Um, but yeah, uh, as I told y'all, I'm gonna talk to y'all about um, this paycheck. I mean, y'all have seen it before, y'all know the vibes, but just for some people that don't really know, or is new here, don't know too much of how I get paid, the kind of the kind of money I make, or how the how I make the certain kind of money, this video is pretty much gonna be for you guys. I ain't gonna go in super in-depth detail like I did the other videos, but this one is just more for you guys. So you can see, like a little. Not I don't want to call play by play, but you can just, so you can just see a little bit of what uh, the numbers look like, and uh, and not so much the num actual numbers, but how we get to those numbers. You know what I'm saying? So that's probably what I'm gonna do. Uh, yeah, but nothing crazy. But like I said, I'm taking the trash out. Uh, I'm about to dump this in there go upstairs eat some food because I didn't eat breakfast but I'm about to eat now uh, I'll be hiding go to my room eat hide and then we'll get to the video 
but I'll see y'all in a minute. I don't know if any of y'all be watching Raising Canaan, but boy, episode one, ruthless already. I already knew. I already knew. I didn't know it was gonna be like that, but I knew it was about to be ruthless, my boy. Yeah. <laughs> I just finished the first episode. It's Friday. I better give me some food. You know what I mean? Just finished the lunch meal hour. Everything is chill still. Nothing much going on. It was pizza and wings. Um, but yeah, easy day, easy day. I'm leaving in a few hours. Uh, yeah, man, life is good. Well, not really. Life is kind of sad, but we'll get to that later. The day is done. Well, at least for me, it's about 3.15. I'm about to go shower then leave. Um, I know I probably could shower at home, but I want to shower now. Shower, then get the fuck out of here. Try to beat some traffic, because I already know it's going to be some ass. I am now home. Happily. I'm about to eat. And probably... I'm not hanging on with my girl. I'm going to hang out with my friends. But I don't know yet. But I'm just glad to be home. You know what I hate about myself? My memory. I feel like I really do have short-term memory loss. Because I can't remember anything. I can remember something. If it's very, like... I don't say impactful, but if it was, if it made me laugh, I remember. If it hurt my feelings, I might remember. Anything to do with my emotions, I remember. But if you're telling me something like, "Hey, Mike, I need you to do this," while I'm doing something else, I won't remember at all. Or if I have to do something that requires time, let's say laundry, and then I do it. Yeah, see, if I something that requires time and is laundry and I do it but I have to come back for it I'm gonna forget again that's just how it is my memory's shot but it's all good it's all good yo yo what's up everybody I was meant to talk to y'all yesterday about this but um, so I got my paycheck while I'm up here I just want or really my overtime sheet while I'm up here I just want to talk to y'all about it real quick I made a video about this before but I'm a little bit more knowledgeable about what I'm talking about now, so let's get into it. So, overall, for this last pay period, it was $4,200 for two weeks. Um, so, a lot of y'all last time when I talked about this was talking about, oh, how is he making this many hours, this is and that, how is he working more hours than there is in a day, or whatever the fuck it is. So, as I said before, I didn't say this correctly before, but I'm saying it now, hours do stack. So let's say anytime I take the trash out, that's a penalty hour. So it doesn't take, because it's outside of my actual job description, I'm not supposed to be taking the trash to the pier. So that would be a penalty hour. So I'll do that, let's say once a day. Um, well, I mean, I really do it like two to three times a day, but let's just say I only get paid for it once a day. So off the rip, that's 14 hours off the rip of penalty hour. Then on top of that, every every day I have uh, I wake up at 5:30, so 5:30 to 6:30 is an overtime hour. So I do that every day. So that's an additional 14 hours off the rip. Plus um, between for my position, 1:30 in the afternoon to 3:30 in the afternoon is two hours of overtime. So off the rip, that's another two hours. So two times 14, that's another 28. Plus 10 to 11 is technically an overtime hour for us. So that's an additional hour right there. So that's automatically every day, no matter what, four hours a day, no matter what. So four times 14 is what? I can't do the math, six, one. It's 56 hours. So off the rip is 56 hours. Plus the weekends are automatically overtime because you don't technically have to work on the weekends. But for our department, since we are such a small crew, we always work on the weekends. So the weekend is all overtime. So 16, uh, 16 hours a weekend plus, so that's two weekends, so that's 32 hours. So 32 plus the, uh, what was it, if I said 56 or something like that. So that puts me at 80, that put me at 88 hours. Plus the additional hours we work on Thursday after hours so we'll finish the whole day all over time plus the hours we do after um, like the sanitation days that's what I call it when I say overtime that's an additional 
I don't know if it's two or three. I think it's three hours. So that's an additional six hours of pay period. So that puts us around 90, 94 to 92, depending. Um, so that's how I have all these extra hours. I know it's something like, how is he working this many hours in a week? But remember, a lot of the hours stack. So um, just so y'all know, I ain't bullshitting. You know what I'm saying? Hold on a second. I'll just take a picture of it. This is right there. Overtime. And then right here is the for the week. But yeah, I just wanted to show y'all how much I made, uh, or how much I'm making, give or take, right now on the ship. Um, again, and I'm tripping. Again, not every ship is like this. My, like y'all know, my previous ship, I was not making any hours like this. I mean, I was making the same amount of hours, but my overtime rate wasn't the same. And um, it was just not a good ship, for me anyways. Um, it'd be better, I need to move up so I can make more money. Cause I know some, one of my friends that he, to the position that I'm trying to get to, well, I'm trying to, but not for real, I don't really want it that bad. But to the one of the positions that I'm trying to get to, I saw his paycheck is about 5,500 every two weeks. Um, another one is like 5,000 every two weeks. Um, and mind you, these are, they're not entry level positions, but they're just like a step above entry level. You know what I'm saying? So there's money definitely to be made out here. And then once you get to the officer level, it goes from, I don't know, anywhere between, in the big fleet, it's not as much. Although in the big fleet, you probably see as much as I'm making now as an officer. Maybe more, a little bit more. But over here, I've seen some guys, their paychecks like, well, no, no, no. In the big fleet, I'm tripping, I'm lying. As an officer, you can, make, you can still make way more money. Because one of my friends, he was a cargo mate. He showed me how much he was making. He was making almost more than a captain. So there's a whole reason for that also, but I don't know. I ain't get into that. But yeah, so there's definitely money to be made out here, not just with the MSC, with other maritime companies, whether it be SIU, you go to Hornback, you go to Edison's West. There's a bunch of different maritime companies out here. You just got to find the best fit for you. And if you don't have any credentials, so to speak, then you should go to all the like ones that take entry level, like I said, MSC or SIU. Um, I know a couple other companies you might be able to get into that takes in entry levels, but it really all depends. If you want to get out here and make this kind of money, um, or if this is even a life you want to live, um, yeah, definitely come out here, get your get your Merchant Mariner, Mariner credential, get your TWIC card, get your passport, get your medical certificate, and you should be good, man. I'm telling y'all, the money's is out here to be made i'm not saying it's the best, most glorious life at all but if you're really coming from nothing like i did i literally came when i say nothing i came from making no money to make it this amount of money it's definitely life-changing but uh yeah that's what i want to talk to you all about um but enjoy the rest of this video i love y'all what's up what's up this is it really I'm not doing anything. I don't do shit. I wash dishes. I clean bathrooms. I do laundry. That is it. Y'all sure y'all want to do this? Are y'all sure? Are you sure? Are you sure? <laughs> well, yeah, man. Everything's chill for right now. Uh. As I said, what I talked to y'all earlier about, I just wanted to allow y'all to see what's up as far as the pay and all that stuff. So y'all know I'm not like bullshit and stuff, but that's not even the reason why I did it. I just wanted to show you guys because I know a lot of you ask, so I wanted to make a newer video with that. I know I didn't go into a lot of detail, but it's just what I do. I might do another detailed video for my yearly salary. For this year as most of y'all know i did not work all year until september so don't expect much but i will show you guys um pretty much what i made for the year uh so it'll have been september october november december so four months for the year i'll show y'all pretty much how much i made uh or at least four months working um it's not gonna be much though not gonna be much but it's all good 
that's why you have to get income outside of your job because if you don't that all this year would have been a struggle if I didn't have my houses but because I did it never really it didn't hurt me as much but definitely definitely get yourself some outside income even if you could even if you don't come out here if you go do some other job find some income that you can make outside of your nine to five it just makes things easier but uh yeah i'm chilling right now like i said i'm just washing dishes but i'm not really washing anything because there's nothing to wash but uh yeah i'm about to chill out i'll talk to you on a few i'm probably going to close the video out right here um thank you for watching if you haven't yet don't forget to hit that like button and if you like what you see don't forget to hit that subscribe um i love you guys uh thanks for watching and I promise you more content to come. And I might do a vlogmas this year. I don't know. I don't have I don't know if I have it in.